Matthew 26, when Jesus was having his uh, last supper, the Passover meal. And what was the Passover meal? The Passover meal that was celebrating the nation of Israel being called out of Egypt. Right? That's what the Passover is all about. That happened some 3,500 years ago. Guess what? The nation of Israel celebrates that every year. Every year. We celebrate it too. We just don't quite call it that these days. Uh, we call it the resurrection. Well, actually, that's part of it, but it's not the whole deal. Because it's the death, burial, and resurrection that we need to be celebrating. It's that death, burial, and resurrection that makes the whole process of God opening up for us this safe place for us to get into. And, and we need to understand that. We need to grab a hold of that because there is no other safe place in this world. Uh, we saw, you know, Facebook tells us of, you know, unfortunately, a young man, 40 years old, three young children, dies of a heart attack. He's a man of faith. He's in the church. It tells us of these tragedies. But was he in a safe place with God when the tragedy hit where his life was terminated? This is the question we need to, we need to pr promote to people is, are you in that safe place with God? And if you're not in that safe place, get in that safe place. And how do I know I'm in that safe place with God? Because His blood covers me. Because the blood that was shed at Calvary is on me. How do I know it's on me? I submitted to baptism in His name. And the power of His Spirit flooded me. I'm speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gives the utterance. And I am happy to live a life that's separated unto Him. That's how I know I'm in that safe place with Him. Yeah. 